Eight years after the September 11th attacks, the World Trade Center site in Lower Manhattan, infamously known as Ground Zero, is now a bustling construction site. But rebuilding the 16-acre property, once the heart of New York's financial district, has been a painfully slow process. So far, only the steel frame of one of the four planned office towers has risen above ground level. Disputes over whether the space should remain a memorial to the nearly 3,000 victims, as well as design and financing issues, have set back construction on the area considered to be hallowed ground to most New Yorkers. Now there's round-the-clock work to build four skyscrapers, including one World Trade Center, formerly named the Freedom Tower, which will be the size of one of the former Twin Towers, but with a much taller antenna. Also in the works, a memorial and museum with reflecting pools built on the footprints of the Twin Towers. Joe Daniels is the memorial and museum president. Over the past year, it's been quite clear that despite the challenges that exist on the World Trade Center site, all of the stakeholders in this project are united in staying on track to meet our expected opening of the memorial in 2011 for the 10th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. While work on One World Trade Center is not expected to be finished until 2013, filling the gaping hole in New York's skyline is sure to be a symbol of healing for both New York and the nation. John Decker, Reuters.